I wanna to. For us to live, we need food, nutrition. And the food need to be break down into pieces, into molecules in order to become nutrition. Otherwise, we won't be able to absorb them. Now, when we eat something, the food starts to digest immediately as soon as it uh, get in contact with saliva. But uh, not only in the mouth, it should transport into the stomach and the stomach is a main organ that is very helpful to digest our food. But in the stomach, there can be, like any part of the stomach can have cancers. When there is a cancer, we call it a stomach cancer or a gastric cancer. Now, there are several types of stomach cancers. And uh, the popular one uh, is adenocarcinoma. 90 to 95% of the patients have adenocarcinomas. Adenocarcinoma means the cancer occurs in the glandular structures in the uh, epithelial tissue of the stomach. The other types are squamous cell carcinomas, lymphomas, stromal tumors. Stromal tumors are a little special because they occur uh, in the muscle or in the connective tissue. And other than that, uh, carcinoid tumor which is very rare but there can be carcinoid tumors as well so let's see what are the symptoms of this kind of a stomach cancer the first thing unintended weight loss and uh, the patient will be able to uh, feel lack of appetite the patient won't be able to eat anything because he feel upset about eating he feel, he don't feel happy when eating other than that stomach pain heartburn bloating feeling bloated feeling after eating like after eating you will feel like bloated and nausea uh, vomiting swelling of the abdomen and uh, diarrhea or constipation same time blood in vomit or blood in stool. So when you have these complications, you definitely need to meet your doctor and have a checkup. And when he diagnoses, um, he might use several methods. There are six methods that can be used to diagnose. The first method is through a barium x-ray. The second one, uh, gastroscopy or endoscopy. Third will be endoscopic ultrasound, while the fourth will be uh, a laparoscopy, and the fifth will be a chest x-ray, uh, and the sixth uh, computer tomography. In general, we call it a CT scan or an MRI scan, magnetic resonance imaging. So there can be different causes. So those causes are such bacterial infections can cause this stomach cancer especially um, like pylori h pylori bacteria and tobacco diet obesity stomach surgery type a blood or stomach polyps sometimes family history or else like gender ethnicity and age have an influence but uh, it doesn't have a much effect on the cancer but other than that, the previous facts can cause a stomach cancer. There are different treatment methods. The different treatment methods are um, depends on the stage of the cancer and the type of the cancer. In a separate video, we can discuss about the treatments. And uh, I would like to thank everyone who is watching this video and thank you for your likes, subscriptions and uh, thank you for your comments and if you have any doubt you can type under the comment section i'm waiting um, to reply you have a nice day i'm andrew sintujan